It is a complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 5 rendering. Ok. Now we want to set our render layer for final batch render. So before that I want to set my uh, image width and height to HD. So because we finish our lighting. Go to view and choose select cam. So you want to unlock our all camera attributes over here unlock selected so now go to render settings in common tab you want to give HD 1080 so like this so now I want to animate my camera a little bit so go to zero frame so I want to zoom out little bit and press S key so when the camera selected you want to zoom out the camera a little bit in first frame and press S key so that means it will be key so you want to go up to 400th frame so I want to zoom in little bit so very close like this so little bit rotation so I will zoom in little bit and press S key so that means you will be the camera will be animated so it looks very nice so I will click play button so see here so now our camera also animated so it looks very nice so now I want to go to first frame I will zoom out a little bit back and press S key so that means it will be animate little bit fast so that's it now you want to lock the camera go to view and select cam I will select all the camera attributes right click and choose lock selector so now you want to set our uh, render layer so go to outliner you want to select all the objects in outliner so all the camera and sorry all the mesh all the light and camera so you want to select all the objects and go to render layer and click create new layer so you want to click this button so that means all the objects will be add into this layer so this one is the rename as final underscore output like this and press enter so now go to render settings so and quality tab here you need to set uh, here you need to set two things so in legacy option so you want to expand this one so here you want to change the unfine unified sampling to legacy sampling mode and give sample to two so here you want to give maximum sample level to 2 so and then you want to say in scenes option you definitely want to turn on the motion blur so if you have animated objects in your scene you definitely turn on motion blur it's really important so go to scenes expand the shutter so you want to give motion blur to full so that's it in common tab here you need to set the uh, file output name of uh, final or chips advertisement chips underscore advertisement so like this now you want to choose image format as Targa because we after complete our render we want to comp in after effects so I will choose star card TGA so here in default it will be set as single frame so because um, it will be render a single frame so I want to set for name underscore as dot ext so it's really important because we have render up to 400 frames so that means you want to choose this one 
and choose frame padding to 3 because I have 3 digits so that means when you start from 0, 0, 1 to 400 frames so here you want to set the frame range of 1 to 400 and press enter and go downside so see here now it will be set as 0, 0, 1 to 400.tga in your source images sorry in your images folder so now you want to choose renderable camera as camera 1 so it's really important so you definitely want to choose camera 1 so in default it will be set as perspective view so you want to check it will be correctly set or not one or two times so it's really important you want to choose camera 1 so that's it you want to choose HD and click close so now you want to save the scene so I will save the scene as rendering and save so now you want to check the first frame and last frame it will be perfect or not so I will go over mid so in 120th frame so I will select this viewport and click render ok see here it has motion blur so it looks really cool so now we want to make batch render so go to render and choose batch render option box so here you want to click on this one so in default it will be on you definitely won't want to uncheck this one here I have give render threads to 4 it depends upon your system configuration so I will right click on my taskbar and choose properties sorry right click on taskbar and choose task manager here you want to choose in performance I have 1, 2, 3, 4 slot in my CPU so that means you want to give 4 if you have 2 slot you want to give 2 so it's depend upon this uh, system configuration so I will give my uh, system CPU slots to 4 and click batch render and close so that means it will start rendering see here it will start render so open your script editor over here so now see here it will start rendering so of my frame so see here so 0 5 10 15 20 25 so it will shows the percentage and it will shows the image number so and go to your destination folder in chipset advertising concept in images here we have newly created folder so it will create automatically by Maya so I will open this folder see it will start rendering the first frame so now we got our we finish our rendering process so it will take lot of time so I will pause this video ok now it's render completed so see here it will render up to 400 frame so it will show also rendering completed so now we want to check in our destination folder go to chips advertising concept in images in final outputs see here it will start from 001 and end up with 400 frames so it will be perfectly completed so in next part we want to make comp in After Effects click here to learn part 6 composition